Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular with Bootstrap full tutorial series where we are building a live real time application called Arc Reminders, which is a reminder service. In today's episode, we will learn about how to use Bootstrap tooltips in our application. I request you, if you have not checked out the previous videos and episodes, please do so to gain valuable information. Also, if you need any technical help or advice on the current series or, or tutorials, please drop in the comments. I'll be happy to help you for free. Like I said, I'm putting in a lot of hard work on this tutorial. So please do subscribe and like my videos to keep encouraging and supporting me. Again, my request is if you have any doubts, just ask me. I'll be happy to help you for free. Let's get started with bootstrap tooltips. So bootstrap tooltips are nothing but uh, it's a better way of user experience where we can give some kind of highlights when the user mouse over hovers on the particular element. So Bootstrap provides two types of uh, layouts or experience for it. One is called tooltips, one is called popovers. So in the next episode, we will learn about popovers. So to use tooltips, what we will do is we have to write a generic function, which is written here. You can see we have to attach data toggle equal to tooltip and initialize the tooltip. Once you have done it, you can then call it in your element by adding data toggle equal to tooltip, data placement equal to top or bottom or however you want it. We'll see that now in hands-on experience. So it's time to add tooltips to our application. Let's get started. So this is what it looks like so far. And um, uh, we have our um, details here where we are seeing the reminder contacts about PDF print add new you can take the mouse over it and you can see the details so let's add the tooltip now so to, to add tooltip again we'll go back to our template and now first we need to initialize it so I'm going to initialize it in the HTML which is common right so under the scripts Let's add script and then we'll go refer it here and I'm going to jump right into the documentation to copy that code. So just copy, just add it here. So now all the data toggles will be attached. So to use them, um, let's say for example, um, any of this data toggle. So I'm going to use this in our this week's template which is the button group we added in last episode so that's how so you see now it shows tooltip on top for the others it doesn't right so for the others similarly you can add say bottom let's give it a minute to load now you see this is on top this is on bottom Similarly, you can give other options like left or right. Now you see it's on right. This is on bottom, right? So this is on bottom. This is on right. So this is on top. This is on bottom. This is on right. So this, this way you can add uh, tooltip so user knows what these are and what it does so to make it better I'm going to now give a meaningful message click to download here I'll say click to print click to click the PDF copy all right so now you see it says click for PDF copy, click to print, click to download. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry about that. So that's how uh, we can use uh, Bootstrap tooltips. Uh, like I said, in the next video, we'll I'll cover how to use Bootstrap popovers, which are much more interactive way to use uh, and display the rich text content. Stay tuned for that tutorial as well. Practice this out. Let me know if you have any doubts, any queries. I'll be happy to help you for free. See you in the next episode. Please don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. Thank you.